Guys, g'day, Nathan here. Welcome back to the red carpet, back in Hollywood for the world premiere of the faith-based film, Unplanned. Now, Unplanned, great film, I've seen it. It's the real, true life story of Abby Johnson, who was a Planned Parenthood uh, clinic director for eight years in Texas. We're gonna interview the actors, the crew, the cast, and, and the people who've come out to support this film tonight. And so it's gonna be a lot of fun. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the red carpet premiere of Unplanned. here with the star of this film, Ashley Bratcher. Ashley, fantastic job. Oh my gosh, you brought Abby to life on the screen. How did you get this job? Oh my gosh, it was a really crazy story. It was actually because a random Instagram follower sent me a message. No way. I'm serious. So this woman that I didn't know, she had spent a year praying for me. I had no idea. She had. She doesn't work in the industry. She had just committed herself to praying for people in the film industry because she believed that we could make an impact on the world. Wow. And she found out about the casting, sent it to me. Uh, long story short, she was very persistent. Even if I blew her off, she was very persistent in following up. And she said, I think that you're meant to play this role. Please audition. <laughs> and so I said, okay, fine. Like this crazy lady thinks I'm meant to play this role. I thought she was crazy. Okay. And so... This is nuts, man. I'm serious. I thought she was Looney Tunes. This and she's is crazy. Somewhere, somewhere. Wow. She's here. I invited her. Um, but but I was like, okay, she's really persistent. I want to see a couple pages of the script. And when I did, I thought, this is a story America needs to hear. And I, I didn't know anything else other than in my heart. I was spiritually convicted, and I wanted to be a part of telling the story. Oh, my gosh. That, I'm floored. That yeah. is... It's not traditional. No, this is like a divine appointment. I agree. I agree 100%. I think that everything about this movie has been a divine appointment. It's called Unplanned, but it's not unplanned by God. I'm serious. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. That's, that's a t-shirt. <laughs> it's called Unplanned, but it's not unplanned. Yeah. Yes. It's the, oh, the divine planning is all over this, isn't it? Now, tell us, what was it like to, to play somebody who's already alive? Obviously, did you meet Abby and talk to her a lot? I did. The first day that I got on set, I said, I need to talk to Abby, probably. Like, give me your number immediately. Because I didn't know who she was ahead of time. Right. And and so in talking to her, we developed a relationship really quickly. She was very easy to talk to. We clicked instantly. Wow. And I was able to just call her and ask her questions, which is such a godsend, because some people don't have that opportunity when they're playing a historic figure. I know. Mostly they, they've passed on. Okay, but then there's the other burden of, like, okay, she's alive. Is she going to like this? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah, but it was great because she was able to be on set a little bit and she she approved. She was really moved. She felt in her heart that I was the right person for the job and I've had nothing but her full support. Wow, that is incredible. Oh my gosh. So what was the biggest challenge for you in, in playing Abby? Um, I'd say the chemical abortion scenes because when she took the RU46 pill and she had her second abortion, she almost died. She hemorrhaged and she literally almost died. Wow. So trying to get into that mindset of believing that this could potentially be your last minute on earth and, and, and showing that experience honestly in the film was something that I was really committed to making sure was done right. And it was really important to her. And She's she's happy. She's very happy with how it came out. Wow, wow, that's so amazing. Because I'm just replaying the scene in my head now as you're talking about it, and it's so true. You absolutely nailed that scene. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now, was it difficult having such a stance of being happy with the whole process of abortion as your character? Uh, you mean being the pro-choice side, playing yeah. the pro-choice side? That was what I struggled with a little bit more because yeah. I that's not something that lines up with what I believe. So. Yeah. I had a lot of conversations with Abby to understand what she was going through during that time. Yeah. And what I found to be so interesting was that Abby is the same person then as she is now. Wow, that's a really great observation. In the sense that she's always been passionate about helping women. Yeah. Always. And so when she was at Planned Parenthood, she wanted, she thought she was helping women. That was why she was there. Yeah. And now that she's pro-life and she's an activist, it's the same thing. She's doing it, but now she's seeing the truth and the light and she has knowledge. Wow, yeah. So she was a woman on a mission and yeah. she's still a woman on a mission today. Exactly. Have you seen the film? Uh, just a few times. <laughs> right, right. It's a, well, it is so powerful. It is devastatingly powerful. Thank you so much. 
So thank you for saying yes and laying your life down to go to these places for us because we really enjoyed this film and, and we needed to see it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bless, and bless your next project. Thank you. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Abby. I mean, Abby. Okay. Ashley. I answered to Abby too. It's AA, you know. Come yeah. on. Bless you. Give it a high five for the great performance. <laughs> Thank you. Guys, I am here with the woman this film is about, Abby Johnson. Abby, what an incredible story. You are so brave. What? How, how did you come to the point where you could release such a, a personal and, and difficult story of your life so everyone knows it? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was a lot of prayer. Um, really having to, I mean, I did... Uh, engage my whole family about the decision because wow. I knew this yep. was something that was going to affect all of us. My yep. parents, my husband, my kids. I, I mean, know, they're all in the movie, guys. Yeah, they're all in the movie. They're all here tonight. Um, but, it, you know, they were so supportive and really wanted this story to be told, not to give glory to myself, but no. to give glory to God and to yep. just show his redemptive power. Yeah. So did you ever think a film was going to come out of your story? No. So this, was, this wasn't on the grid? No, no, and this is so... Hey, there, there goes the other Abby uh, yes. Johnson over there. <laughs> this is so, Ashley. This is so, like, out of my element for me. I'm, like, a mom in, like, yoga pants and T-shirts, you know? So that's me. Like, I've got eight kids. That's just You've my You've got life. eight kids? Well, this is number eight, yeah. Oh, my so. gosh, that's amazing. Yeah, that's yeah. redemption right there. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. What's your prediction? Is Are we going to change? Is America going to change with this issue after this film? I think that people are really seeking truth on this issue and they're going to find it in this film and I think that this is going to be the most powerful tool that we have as people of faith as pro-life people that we can use yes. that we can show the truth of what's really happening inside of these abortion clinics no, absolutely and I felt that was the reality for me I felt like I was in there and just the reality of the real everyday life of what happens really truly every single day was just slapped me in the face it well, was we've incredible. all become so callous to exactly. it and, and, and numb really going to prick our conscience I oh. think collective conscience for all of us yeah no fantastic well Abby thank you so much so nice. just one last question was it weird to see yourself on the big screen yes <laughs> yeah it's still weird no matter how many times I've seen it it's still weird thank you Thank you for your bravery, for your courage, for your faith, and it's blessing us, and it's going to bless so many women and so many children. Thank you. I'm here with the writers and the directors of this incredible film, and the most incredible thing is that you guys did it together. I mean, obviously you've been doing it for a while, but how do you guys share the load of, of the job of directing and writing? Uh, I let him do all the work and that's it. I just show up. <laughs> <laughs> what you, is that true, Chuck? If there's anything you like, it's probably his. If you didn't like it, it's probably mine. That's the way it works. <laughs> but guys, obviously this is a very powerful film. How did you get on board with this project? We had a girl come over to us and she gave us a book, Unplanned, and she said, you should make this into a movie. And we were like, yeah, okay, chick flick, not going to happen. We're doing a Western. Yeah, you know, yeah. We're going to do it with Clint Eastwood and we went on and on. We made the mistake of praying, and I said, Lord, you're going to let us do the Western, right? No. Wow. What do you mean, no? He said, you're going to do this. I'm like, oh, man, it's a chick flick. <laughs> Just do this. This is what I want you to do. And so we said, okay, and that was it. Come on. Now, do you still think it's a chick flick? It's definitely a chick flick, you know, when 95% of your actors are female. <laughs> but you know what? I think that the Lord knows best. Yeah. He called us to it. I don't buy the women can only tell female stories, men can only tell male stories. Yep. I think women like to tell female stories and men like to tell male stories. Yep. You know, if I had it my way, like I said, I would be doing a Western. Yeah, yeah. But that's not the times we live in. Yeah. So I think that, you know, the Lord knows what he does and he called us to do it and I think he knew that we would, uh, we would love on it. Yeah, wow. That's amazing. What was the most difficult thing in this whole process for you, Chuck? The most difficult thing, just... Uh, it took so long. It took so long to put everything together. Yeah. <laughs> but the thing that was amazing was that every roadblock came with a blessing that eventually showed up. Wow. Usually at the last moment. So 
we just had to just keep keep plugging and keep moving forward and the Lord took care of everything else. Wow, well you've done an incredible job guys. Thank you for this film. It's devastatingly amazing and it's, I think it's something that we need to see as, as America right now. Yeah. Uh, I agree and I think the Lord is going to do a mighty work here. I am here on the red carpet with Rabia. Rabia plays Cheryl in the movie. The woman we love to hate. <laughs> You're not alone. You're not the first to say that, and you won't be the last. You were fantastic, let me tell you. Thank you, I appreciate it. I loved how you were so warm and kind. Incredibly compassionate, yes. uh, really thought of others above herself. Yes, but yes. this is a woman you don't want to cross. Cheryl, So, how did you prepare for this role? Well, I don't know if you know this, but I'm a retired actress. Oh, I didn't know. Yes, no. Yes, I, uh, I acted years back when I was a younger gal. I was actually on tour with Prince. Remember? Yes, and you were on the cover of Prince's number one single. That's right. Come on, I, used to, I, was, I was at high school when Purple Rain came out. I'm the pearl half of Diamonds and Pearls. No way. Yes. Oh, my gosh. So I did that. I was an actress on shows like Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Do you remember oh, yes, that show? Yes, okay. absolutely. So then I became a Christian. I retired from Hollywood. I've wow. been in full-time ministry for 15 years. I randomly... Uh, met Chuck and Carrie, the writer-directors. They told me about the film. I was interested, and here I am, oh out, of, out of retirement. Well, you knocked Cheryl out of the park. Thank Fantastic you. job. Thank you for coming out of retirement. Thank you. And what, what are your thoughts? This is a passion project, obviously. It's a powerful film. What are your thoughts on this film? I mean, it's a true story. It's a message of hope. It's a message of redemption. It, everyone who sees it is blown away and impacted. You cannot come out of the theater the same way you went in. Regardless of what you believe going in, you're going to be uh, moved and challenged wow. when you come out. We have here Victoria Robinson yes. from Save the Storks. Now this sounds absolutely incredible. Yeah. Tell us, what are these vans and what do you do in these vans? Storks buses. Storks buses, like real cars, mate. Yeah, they're Mercedes Benz Sprinters oh and they're gosh. equipped with state-of-the-art equipment and a staff of medical personnel who are trained. They're parking them in front of abortion clinics and they're they're offering free ultrasound, free pregnancy tests that they have to pay for at an abortion clinic. So the girls will see our vans and ask, what is that? I'd like a free ultrasound. They come on our bus before oh they're even God. walking in an abortion clinic. This and, is fantastic! Yeah, and four out of five are choosing life when they see their babies. Oh. Because we don't hide their babies from them on the screen. And we have, through our surround sound on the buses, they hear the heartbeat. You can't deny a heartbeat. This is crazy off the charts. Everybody's got to do their part with this issue. And you are doing more than your part. This is a, such a fantastic idea. It's real. We have 48 buses now, five in production, and we're looking at doing, our goal is one a month to be being built. And hopefully these pregnancy centers will have one in front of every abortion clinic in the country. Because 95% of these women that see these free ultrasounds and see their babies realize it's not just a blob of tissue. Well, they it's realize the truth. the truth. Truth. And there isn't any, there, it's not true that there's nothing inside of them growing. It's their child. So it makes that connection from their heart to their head. We're not just saving babies, we're saving these men and women from making a choice that they are not going to be able to live with. And it's going to be a difficult choice for them to, to comprehend once they understand what they did. Oh so it isn't just about the babies for us. We are at Save the Storks using love, compassion, and action to not just save children, but to save these mothers and fathers because they all three matter. Absolutely. It isn't just the baby that matters, it's all three of them. Oh my gosh, that is just... That is so true, yeah. because I have to live with that. Yeah. So much suffering for people. I had an abortion 31 years ago. Wow. And they told me there was nothing in my body. I was six weeks pregnant. There's nothing there. It's a, a clump of cells, a blob of tissue. You're so early. You don't need to have a baby right now. You already have two children. I was struggling as a single mom. And they even said to me, you're selfish to have another, to bring another mouth to feed. When you have these two that you can barely take care of. I believed it. I had an abortion. It changed who I am forever. But it put me on a mission. Wow. And the mission was to educate men and women that you're being sold a lie. And the truth is that that child from conception has a unique DNA and is a human being. And medical has proved, that scientist, science has proven that. The yep. medical community has proven that these children that are unborn feel fear and feel pain in the womb. So that should be a no-brainer, that abortion should be unthinkable. In 20 years that I've been working in this work, thousands of children have been saved from me sharing my story. It hasn't been easy. Watching this movie for me was not easy to watch, but I knew that my child did not die in vain.
and I will fight till the day I die to make sure that people understand they matter and so do their children. We have the youngest star on the carpet tonight from the film Unplanned and it's Andy Grace who plays the character of Grace in the movie. How you doing? How was it to do your first movie Grace? I mean Andy sorry. It was really fun. How did you end up getting a role on a movie? Well, I just auditioned and I got the part. Well, you were very good. I love your smile and you brought a lot of life to the camera. You were really awesome. What was the most fun thing about uh, working on a movie? Um, that I got to be with all the people and I got to spend time with them. Oh, that's so nice. And so you sort of became a bit like a family on set? Uh, yeah. Andy? Grace Burton. Well done. Give me a high five, Andy. Good job. I'm here with Robin, who plays Abby's mum yes. in the movie. How was this, the experience for you working on this film? Amazing. Um, yeah, it was, best. It was just the best. Uh, everyone was so supportive. Carrie and Chuck, amazing. And what was the biggest challenge for you um, in playing this role, Robin? Um, probably just to make sure I'm playing a real person, uh, yes, giving them on. justice. It's important. This mother struggling, loving her child, wanting to support her, but at the same time not agreeing with her choices. Yeah, so. and that was a powerful thing in the film to see that re that, that that people really close to Abby just loved her and let yeah. her choose her own way. Yeah, exactly. It's all about you know not judging, loving. That's what I hope comes mostly about this film, I, I mean on a personal relational level with people. Obviously the message about abortion, but I just want people to see that, you know, this is not a movie about judgment, this is a movie about loving people where they're at. Come and, on. you know, just accepting people and and praying for the best and hoping for the best and just being with them where they are right there. Mike Manhart, the producer of this incredible film. I'm one of a few producers. I got a phone call from Carrie Solomon and Chuck Consulman saying, Mike Manhart, God told us to meet with you. Yeah, as a result, man, we en ended up uh, having me come onto the project to help them uh, develop a pro-life cast and crew. Wow. And then I learned that they needed the money, you know, to finish this project. So, Which is always uh, important. Got to have the money, you come know. On. And uh, we stepped up to the plate and helped raise uh, a few million bucks to make it happen, and all with God's grace. And are you happy with the product? We are about as happy as we can be because it belongs to God, man. Wow. I'm telling you, we pray nonstop for this thing, and uh, we discern everything and we can't deny that this thing is his timing. Not only will it save souls, it's going to save millions and millions of unborn children wow. because the truth is told here. And that's what this is all about, is the revelation of truth without judgment. You know, we're just telling Abby Johnson's true story. And Ashley Bratcher and Robia Scott, all of our actors and actresses have done a, a phenomenal, stellar, Amazing job. stellar job. God bless them. Pat Boone, I cannot believe I'm shaking your hand. I used to watch you on TV when I was a kid. This is amazing. I was going to say I'm just a reasonable facsimile. I'm a stand-in. No, I'm not. I'm the real guy. I don't recognize myself. I don't know how. I don't know how anybody recognizes me today. I don't look like I used to look. I was a kid. Yeah. What happened? Oh my God. I grew up. Well, you still got a great sense of humor. You haven't lost that. That's for sure. Oh, I, but I'm a realist, and of course, I'm here to tell people that I am, as a father of four daughters, wow. grandfather of of ten granddaughters, congratulations, great grandfather of six great granddaughters. Oh my God! And married to a wonderful wife of 65 years. That I am decidedly pro-choice. The choice is whether or not a child lives or dies. That's the choice. People keep saying, well, I'm pro-choice. Don't you believe in a woman's right to make her decisions about her own body? I say, yes, make them before conception. Yeah. Stand wow. up for your rights as a woman. Come on. Before conception. Once there's conception, there's more likely than not to be another woman in you. And you've got to choose, does that woman live or die? I think this film is a life preserver. Wow. You know how the life raft, you, yes. you see somebody drowning and you throw them throw the ring. a life preserver, a ring. Yeah. This movie is a life preserver for our country. Wow. I do not believe God can allow America to keep going, having slaughtered on the altar of expediency Absolutely. 60 million Americans, more of them women than men. I mean, I don't know how many Nobel Peace Prize winners, scientists maybe with the cure for cancer, exactly. how many uh, geniuses have been put away and, yeah. and destroyed because somebody made an error, a mistake, did something they shouldn't do. And I understand women, poor women, 
there are methods of conception that are available, and yeah. one of them is abstinence. When people see this film, they'll become pro-choice too. The yeah. choice to let a child live and not die. God bless you, Pat Boone. You are a legend, and you love the Lord, and we love you. I do. My wife is now in heaven in that mansion. Come Jesus on. prepared for us. He said that where I am there, you may be also. She's there waiting for me. Come on. If God has something else he wants me to do for a while, I'm his. But then I'm going to be back with her. This is Mike Lindell. Is it Lindell or Lindell? Lindell, Lindell. Lindell, come on. Well, those pillows have made a little bit of money, hey? Uh, yeah, we sold 44 million now. Come on, my pillows, mate. But, that, but more important than God, my pillow has a platform for God. It's always been a bigger platform. Yeah. I, all I do now is take my credibility that God's given me, this amazing platform of notoriety, and put it on things that God wants me to. What are your thoughts on the film? Oh, wow. I think it's very, very powerful. I, yeah. I've seen it twice, and wow. the second time was a lot more powerful than the first time. Wow. Yeah, yeah I cried several times. It's just, um, I'm just, I think it's going to open a lot of people's eyes. I, I'm just very thrilled. And, and also that they're going to offer hope at the end and recovery for the yeah. people that are hurting. Yeah. You know? That's a big thing, too, what Kendra just said. The hope at the end where if you've had an abortion, yes. where you got, now you can, we're going to get help for them. They can deal with it yes. and forgive themselves and God yeah. forgiving them yes. and forgiveness Come forgiveness on. hello you know yeah. that's what I said <laughs> Woo! <laughs> forgiveness yeah. Yeah. and we and I'll tell you what we will be this someday we're gonna look back on abortion and say what was what was what were they thinking back then what was this thing called yeah. abortion because we're gonna it's gonna be gone in our lifetime we are here with a real father and daughter uh, Fab and Bella. Now Bella was in our school, our ILFM school, two years running. Yep. But she was a she was a little late this time because you were shooting in this film. Tell us, how did you get involved with this film, Bella? Um, well, my dad told me about the film, and then he on, <laughs> he he told me about the part Christina, and I was really drawn to it because it's such a like really opens the doors behind what abortion really is. Yeah. And I was like, I want to show people that. Like, I want people to know what it's really like, and I want to be the one to do that, so yeah. Then what was the biggest challenge about playing your role? Well, the fact that I was in fake blood for 12 hours was pretty <laughs> challenging. It felt really real when you're watching that scene. It's crazy. Now, dear old dad, I was feeling for you how you were just acting. I mean, Bella was your real daughter, mm. and she's your daughter in as your character. Yeah. Tell us how was that experience? It that? was... Um, it was amazing to see her just rise up to every single challenge that it, it that it threw against. I mean, it was it was such an emotional scene to see her. I mean, if you've seen the movie, you know it's oh, yeah. very emotional oh, yeah. the part that she has. Um, and, and you she just in the waiting well. room? Oh my gosh! It was hard, man, because like the in, in in the movie, the dad actually forces her to have an abortion, and I don't see what's happening behind the scenes. But like being behind the scenes as well, seeing what she had to go through was just it was it was hard. Now it's it's actually a pretty tough film for yeah. for a lot of people to watch. Yeah. Do, what what are your thoughts on the film? I loved it. I think it really. I think it's going to do what the Lord intends it to do. Come on. I think Ashley killed it. I think everybody does Ashley, a great absolutely. job. Chuck and Carrie have been sitting on this movie for a long time, seven years, I think. And it's it, God is literally got the perfect timing for the release of this movie. Oh my gosh! It's and, and I'm just pray, guys, get out and see this film. See you need to see this film. You got to see Bella. She is incredible. I'm here with Hannah, who played Hannah in the film. What does it feel to be? part of a film that has such a powerful and important message. You know, honestly, this specifically is so powerful because it's a true story. Yeah. This is not just propaganda that's pro-life. This is someone's experience in life, and that's what being an actress is to me, is telling a story Come that on. is true. This is real. Yeah. So you guys, go watch this movie. Yes, hear that? You need to see it. Come on, get out there, guys. Educate yourself. Woo! So this is a film that needs to be seen by everyone, no matter what side of the fence you're on. Yeah. It's powerful. It's thought-provoking. It's moving. Moving. And I was just glad and blessed to be a part of this, to bring a face to the faceless and a voice to the voiceless. Hey guys, well that was it. We're about to go in to see the film. Go to the cinemas, see this film guys. This was unplanned. We just met the cast and the crew. It's an awesome, divinely timed film and project. Hope you enjoy this. Get out and see Unplanned this week. Love you guys. For more information or to support the work of Iris Global, please visit us online at irisglobal.org.